Okay, this is the uh, playing of uh, the uh, war games for the battles of um, Waterloo and oh, what's the other one? Vavra. So this is the eighth video in the series and game wise it's June oh had the microphone behind uh, the screen um, let me move it out here I don't know how it got stuck back there I guess I was moving some stuff around yesterday anyway um, the game turn is June 18th, 1815, 1.15 p.m. It's the ninth uh, turn out of 52. Uh, visibility is 20 hexes. And um, the effects of mud are gone. We have 100% uh, movement, 100% ar artillery fire effectiveness, and 100% musketry effectiveness. So, uh, with that being said, we're uh, sending most of the French cavalry around its left flank to lap around the uh, British here. Um, got some British on the flanks here. Wow. Well, well, well. This uh, British Infantry Battalion didn't bother to go in uh, in square. Still in column. May pay the price for that. We've got two line units here. That didn't go in column either. Well, I guess we'll have to charge them then. How come these guys won't charge? Is it just that guy? Oh, nuts! They won't charge because I've moved them already. Uh. That's right. I did part of the movement last time. What a shame. Well, they'll, they'll probably be in column uh, by the time I charge, which means I won't charge then. Yeah, that's right. I remember now I moved. I believe everything except this far right. things here. Uh, I've got two disordered units here. I don't usually like to leave disorder units in the line unless I have to. So Let's withdraw this back here. Oh, oh, that damned uh, 
artillery battery I disordered a bunch of units and charging it let's move him into there in the woods I've got another disordered unit here okay well, this skirmisher is uh, disordered, so he won't close. See if he'll move backwards. Yeah, he will. So I'll move him up there. All right. I'll go at that artillery battalion again. See if I can finish him off this time. Okay, we've got two columns of mailing with this guy. Got a line unit here. Wish he was in column. These are the disordered columns. Jeez, I got three of them that are disordered. Uh, these guys, this guy might move another hex. That guy won't. Okay. So we've got a battalion in line. We're going to turn him to face our semi-surrounded battalions there. I can fire at him. This guy's disordered in line. This guy's in column. Let's put him into line. Whoop. And we'll move him around to the left so he can fire. All right, that stack's going to get a little bit of fire. Now what do we got back here? No artillery, I see. Just this one battery up there. Hmm. Well, I guess we should take advantage of that. Let's start moving up on him. Oh, let me put the elevations up here so I can see what I can hide behind. Six, so he's on high ground. Well, I can't really hide here. Oh, got five here. So I can get kind of close. Give it a try. So these guys are hiding on low ground. He shouldn't be able to see them. I think I'll bring this guy out to the flank here. I don't think I can put him in the line. I don't have enough movement. I don't. Oh. Got three other guys in column, so we'll move them up. Good. One more to fill that. Well, he may not make it. Yeah, he did. Excellent. So we're all up there in low ground. Uh, do I have one more battalion? Probably not. Uh, over here. I uh, better keep him there in case somebody gets disordered. Okay. 
turn him. Now I've got the artillery. Three battalions all disordered. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, so he'll move up there. Got high ground there, so he'll move up there. And I don't think I have enough to unlimber him, nope. This guy will move there, okay. Well, I won't be able to fire with this battery or this one because it's a line battery and I moved. Once you move with those suckers, they don't uh, fire. It's either you fire or move. With uh, horse artillery, you can fire and move. Big difference. Okay, um, I'm going to reface this column. I guess I'm not, oh, wrong hex. Move this, move this uh, battalion underneath the battery. I always like to see the batteries on top. Okay, well that takes care of all these guys. Uh, let's go over here. Now he's tightened up. Boy, there's just a bunch of junk here. He's got an unlimbered battery under here for it's on low ground. Okay, if I go head on, I'll take the fire of the battery. <clears throat> well, this is a disordered line, so that's a good guy to start shooting at. So we'll put these two units to shoot at him. Yeah, I got a disordered line myself there. Well, that's okay. Now, this guy's in column, which is real good. So, we'll send him into the woods. Okay, we disclosed some routed guys here. He's formed a line with routed guys. Okay, we'll see how that works. Well, we'll get in behind the battery. Skirmish is only 75 men. I don't know. This guy's in line. Excellent. So I'll shoot at him from three different directions. These three guys I'll hold in place for the moment. This guy's in line. Okay, he'll start moving down here. That's all I can do. All right, now this artillery. With some high ground here, right here. Good, he got up there. Uh, that's all he can do. Uh, 
Now, well, I could move this battery up here, or I can move it against this battery. What's well, better? Well, I think against these guys, it'll take a while to get there. Boom, that wasn't so bad. I'm sure I can't unlimber. Nope, but that's okay. This guy can probably fire at it. But I can always turn this to fire on him if I want, I guess, because I'm on the a knoll of high ground there. Okay, we'll put this column under the battery. That's good. So these guys are all moved. Well, geez, I got more supply than I know what to do with. Let's move this supply up. We'll move this supply there. Move this up here. Okay, we've got plenty of supply now. Okay, let's, uh, so we don't forget, let's look back here what we got going on. This is part of the sixth core. Hmm. Got part of the six core committed here, yeah. He's got no artillery here, one battery. He's really spread himself out, and that's the that was the idea. He's got most of his batteries here. Which is good because uh, I wanted them in place. He can't really do much against me. Oh, he could try to move those batteries in this direction. Well, this is high ground here, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to move the remainder of the 6 core up through here and deploy them behind these guys as a reserve. What's the best way to get up there? Um, we can go up here and then move along this ridge. Yeah, I think that'll work. Whoops, that's all he can go. And we'll work our way along this ridge back into here. We'll put maximum pressure on the British line so they can't shift units around too easily. And if they do, they'll leave a hole somewhere or a weak position, which I can take advantage of. That's why I want to get as close as I can to them without getting killed. Okay, and this battery will go with them. Now this should be the guard. 
Oh, there's still a six core. Wow, I've got another division here. The guard isn't that big. The six core is. So is this core artillery in red? All right. Well, well. Well, we'll send them straight up the road. We'll see what we're going to do with them. Send them left or right. Now, this is going to slow them up a little, but that's okay. I want the artillery together. Oh, one hex. That won't hurt. And I like Napoleon, who always uses the guard as a last resort. I'm going to use it as a first resort because it's going to go on the French right flank. take care of whatever is left over there so the British and the Prussians will have a lot more difficulty joining up oh where are these guys here's the guard finally okay so Yeah, these two guys are the last of the six core, so we'll put them up behind him. Now we'll move up the guard. Deroux, Ferrant, and Petit. So we'll take these three guys. Put them at the head of the guard. Where's Napoleon? Oh, here he is down here. Okay. So now... Where the white guys? Just Chasseurs, is that old guard? Okay, we'll put them on the road. Oh, here's Napoleon and Ney. Okay, we've got Napoleon trailing the old guard. Oh, we don't have this guy on the road, but we'll do that next turn. Put these guys closer to the road so they can just hop on. Got so much supply here. Okay, what about this guy? We'll jump on with some supply. Oh, 
I've got a ton of it. Okay, so that takes care of the guard. Now let's go out to the right flank and see how we're doing. Well, we've got this one. Cavalry uh, Brigade here. I believe it's going up through these woods. And we've got one going up through here. Probably take position around this area. That looks really good for defense. And then we've got the other one going to St. Lambert. I should put, oh, well we've got the other brigade. Where the hell is he? Coming from Lenay, I think. Okay, let me use the jump map to find him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's a ways away. Well, I think I'll send that 2nd Cavalry Brigade to St. Lambert and put them on the ridge here to hold this road. So we've got three roads to the Waterloo Battlefield. We've got one in the south here. We've got the central one up here. And then we've got this one along the top of the woods. So I'll put a cavalry brigade on each road. And then uh, if I don't run into them first, he'll, uh, he'll have to fight. It could be anywhere. He's had some time to move. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's a little past St. Lambert. Okay, that may change things when I identify him, what he's got there, skirmishers or cavalry or what. All right, we've got high ground here and it's in the open, which is very good. So we'll, uh, I don't want to get cross over these dark patches. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a blocking unit here on the road and then I'll move over to this area, set up an artillery battery and set up the rest of the units here. And if I have another battery coming up, I'll put him up on the high ground here. We'll see what he has coming down here. It may just be some scouts. Or he uh, may be the head of his column. We will see. Anyway. Good, I pushed out a brigade there. So we'll see if he's got anything coming down this road now. Okay, I can see all the way out to here and so far nothing. Uh, we'll send the rest of the brigade there because if there's nothing, I may drop down to the south then, depending on what we see. But at least he won't be able to flank me down this road too easily.
All right, now for my third brigade, we will definitely send him Huh. Yeah, I think we'll send him to the south here. Because he can get up on this high ground. We'll just deploy this brigade out here. This guy can get up in the high ground. Or he can try, if it's just a small force he has here, he can that brigade can try flanking him, move off this high ground, basically up to the St. Lambert. So, I don't like having these two artillery pieces in the lead. road and move these guys through the woods and you've really got to scout out these roads with the fog of war you never can tell where units can be moving and this AI player is really aggressive so anything can happen I mean you often don't see the British basically going on the attack at Waterloo So, keeps you on your toes. Now, if this AI was at Gettysburg and it was the second day, or the, f the first, and Lee gave them an order, attack that hill if possible, uh, there would have been no doubt what they would have done. They wouldn't have stalled like you will would have gone right for it. Okay, so let's look at the situation here. Got these guys moving through the woods along that road, these guys blocking that road, these guys going up here. All right, let me just take a quick look at the time. Okay, we're about half done. All right. Oh, I get something. How nice. Where? Oh, I forgot about Grouche. Jesus. What an oversight. Thank God there's a reminder here. Okay, where's that other brigade? That cavalry brigade right there. Yeah, I forgot to move that, Vavra. I'll take care of that. Okay, he didn't attack. This stranded battalion here. I know he's here in strength. So we're going to pull out of there. And we're going to continue south here.
Okay, so I'm going to go up this road. And I will come up with St. Lambert to the north. That's a pretty good position. Because from here I can go across this area. And if a battle develops here, I can... I can bring this road under fire and possibly attack it because he's got no good way through here. He's got to use this road, so I'll have an extra brigade. Okay, that's good. Let's go look at up here. Whoa! Well, oh, and we've got a battery. Up here, well, I don't like the looks of this. So I'm going to withdraw slightly there. Boy, this is a nasty position. I'd like to set up an artillery battery here. Well, maybe I will. Whoa! Holy moly. How can he be strong everywhere? Really split himself up. What the heck is this? Oh, Marsh. Oh. I think I can fire over a marsh. So let's send the cavalry battery. Down here. This would be more of, the, of an irritant than anything else. And I'll keep this guy over here so I can see if anything's moving down here. And if something tries to move through this village, I'll be able to see that. Okay. Now. God, these guys. Well. We'll go up this road over here to where this cavalry brigade is. Oh, and he can cross down here or up here, probably down here. That's not too bad. So he'll go north along this road. And turn here. Okay. Maybe a Goucher will make it after all. Unless the Prussians have picketed that far south, which I think is unusual, but you never can tell. 
He seems to really spread out. I'd like to concentrate the army. But it looks like he's really spreading out. He spread out the British and looks like he spread out the Prussians. They're all over the place. That may work to my advantage because he may not have spread out this far south. Or even if he did, Goucher will be able to give him a decent fight. But the objective is to get to Waterloo, not to delay and fight the Prussians, unless it prevents the Prussians from getting there. He may have watered himself down so much, he may not have enough strength in any column to force the issue. It's always the problem when you split up into too many pieces. Okay, we're getting some decent forces here. Oh, a pioneer. No wonder 25 men. I was wondering what kind of a battalion is that. Okay, let's make absolutely sure we don't have any more units arriving. Nope, that was pretty good though. All right. So it'll be a allied fire phase now. Seven men. Thirteen. Oh, that's artillery. That always hurts. Three. Six, four, those are battalions firing at two uh, hexes, must have rifles. Two, two, that's kind of a waste of time too. One, 14, okay, I'm right next to a battalion. 27, uh, seven, hopefully I'll be able to dish it out back. Five, two, five. No effect. One man. One. That's what happens to you fire uh, skirmishers. One. Three. That skirmisher is pretty good. Seven. Ten. Okay, that's a battalion. Eight. Eight. Three for the Hugelmont. Four. Four. No effect. Seven. Two. Artillery. Nine. That wasn't bad for artillery. One gun. He got artillery. One, one man. Fatigue over here. So he fired on my artillery bag. Twenty-seven. Oh, that was a killer. That was artillery. Twelve. Four. Well, I'm starting to take casualties. Twenty-five. Another artillery. One gun gone. Jesus. No effect. Two men. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. This is on the Vavra. So we have skirmisher. We have a column. We have two columns, three columns, Jesus. We have a battery coming up. Okay, so things are going to get hot here. All right, let's go to Waterloo. Well, we had a battery pop up here. Okay. He still remained in column. Oh, he hasn't moved yet, no wonder, okay. 
All right, so we've got some guns set up here. Can I fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The two batteries. Okay. Now well, we've got squares here. Okay, we'll fire point blank in the square. Let's see how he likes it. Bam, 84 men. Sixteen. Boy, that's a big difference. Okay, this guy's still limbered. Uh, we've got skirmishers here, so we won't worry about them. Two columns here. Line unit. Okay, we'll fire this guy. 17. Well, we blew away like the skirmisher. Ah, oh, now this guy. Artillery can fire point blank. 31. Uh, that wasn't that good. 12. 12. Uh, 20. Well, that was the only guy that was any good. Okay, we've got skirmishers here. Uh, this guy's still limbered. Oh. Okay. Got an unlimbered gun that can't fire, but we've got three line units that can, so let's give them a blast. 31, now that's better. Three, well, he's disordered. The firing unit is five. Geez, that was pretty shitty. And he's in line. That was disappointing. Let's try this guy. 18, that's better. Let's try this artillery battery. 26, okay, that's good. We'll see how long he stays here. Because my artillery yeah, can't fire this turn, but it will fire next turn. So I'll bring in two more batteries to fire at this guy. We'll see how he likes that. Okay, so we've got skirmishers here. We've got a disordered line unit here. I've got a disordered line unit, so we'll fire at him. Four men. Eighteen, much better. Ten. Eh. Okay. Fired his battery. Fatigue. Well, that's something, I guess. We'll fire this battery. Ten men. Boy, that was nothing to brag about. It's only three hexes away. You'd think you'd do better. Okay. Looks like that's all the fire. Uh, we'll see if I've got any melees. I think I do. So let's go back over here. All right. A couple of these guys. Got two guys in column. Let's see if I can pocket these guys. I'll hopefully make this skirmisher withdraw right there and make this one withdraw. Okay, I pushed him back, which is good. And I didn't get disordered, but he did. Uh, let's see if I can push this one back. Make a little pocket here. Uh, 
All right, I pushed him back. And I didn't get disordered. Good. Okay. These guys are going to... Oh, that's a 400 man uh, engineer. That's pretty damn big. Well, let's go at it with this guy then. Okay. And I didn't get disordered. Okay. Well, that's good. Now we've got two disordered skirmishers here. Oh, we've got two guys in column. Two skirmishers there. Well, not sure I want to push up against this column. Well, I don't know. 800 men. No, I don't think I will. Okay, this is a disordered column here. I'm thinking he'll be moving away, but you never can tell. These two guys may be advancing, though. Okay, we'll take out this supply unit. Automatic victory. Get mine, and we've got a skirmisher here. Column, column, column. Okay, I didn't get disordered, and he did. That's always a good thing. Okay, we've got two disordered cavalry regiments here, so I'm not... Three of them, all disordered, so see, they're not much good. Against me. Now, we're going to go at this artillery battery again. The skirmisher, 73 men. Well, I like him there. Where he is. Bang! Okay, I got three casualties. He's got 33. I am disordered this time. God! You know, these, well, this artillery is very hard to kill when it's limbered. It tends to just back off, but that's okay. That's okay. I got disordered for that, but I've got units around here. And I hold a good position in the woods. And I threw him back again. It's best, obviously, if the artillery is unlimbered. Because then it's a lot easier to destroy, destroy them. The only bad thing is that they are very dangerous when they're unlimbered. Because if you're in their line of sight and you're trying to melee them, They'll blow you to pieces. So I don't know what's better. In this case, and I've seen that happen, they miraculously recover their morale and then they can deploy right in front of you, but most times they won't. They have to get out of your zone of control in order to really recover the morale. But anything can happen. Okay, we got this disordered line unit. I'm going to keep firing at him. But I want to get the, the cavalry 
Oh, these are all going to... Oh, there's a column that's routed. I've almost got these guys surrounded. Now uh, we'll see. I could come down this road, maybe start knocking off these routed guys. But I'm flanking them there, so we'll see. Okay, that's it for melee. Now we've got allied movement. Let's see what he's going to do. This goes by so fast. We should could slow it down. Well, he's, he's advancing on me. Jesus, I don't believe it. It's okay with me. Here he's... He's advancing and he's grouping up, which makes it easier for me to surround him. Okay, he's grouping up, thinking he's going to get melee. Yeah, he's grouping up everybody. Okay, let's see what he does here. That guy's gone in the square. That's what I thought. This guy's still in line. We'll see what he does. Two guys in line. All right. Well, this is the British flank. Oh, the guy's gone backwards in the, towards the village. Okay, these guys are grouping up. Now, ah, they're going, starting to go off to the their left flank here. These guys are advancing on the, the French center. Wow, charge of the light brigade. Okay, he's got cavalry here coming up. That's always... They're disordered, though. So I don't really care. Okay. Must be moving behind the scenes. I can't see anything. Okay, units have popped up here. Yep, keeps advancing on the French center. Okay. Now he's bulking up here. All those, all those skirmishers aren't too strong, each unit, but you stack up four of them, they're as strong as a battalion. So that's what he's doing. He's got a zillion skirmishers, and he's starting to stack them up thinking he'll be able to effectively melee, but he's assuming I'm going to melee him. Okay, now we're at Vavra. Oh, we got some guys coming out of the woods here. These guys are going back and forth. Oh, we got some cavalry up here. Is he going to charge across the bridge? Whoa, Jesus, look at this stuff back here. Yeah, got a major force here. It's not like I'm going to cross over and attack them. Oh, look at what's here. Skirmishers. Oh, you've got units in column. Okay. So we've got a Prussian flag here. Did it make it all the way to uh, Waterloo? Just the flag. Well, this is interesting. Well, I've got no fire there. Okay, so he's he's pulled back here from the high ground. This artillery kind of forced his hand. 
but since it's horse artillery, now I can, uh, I can't fire on him. Oh, I'm high enough, I don't know why. Oh, I got him, 32 casualties. Fifth, uh, 20, so 50 casualties for a rear guard, that isn't too bad. Oh, what else have I got? All oh, this. Ah, oh, these, these skirmishers. Some of them escaped, but they routed. Sometimes that happens when you're in a bad position. You try to move past the enemy, you get routed. So it looks like a lot of them got cleared out, and the ones that are left are routed, so they bulked up over here. Okay, so I've got two guys in column here. These guys are in column. This guy's in line, so we'll give him a blast, 12 men. Sixteen. Yeah, not bad. Not that great. So this at least he withdrew and out of rain uh from the direct front of this artillery battery, but I still can fire at him. Forty two, that's pretty good. This artillery is still limbered. Oh, Okay, we finally got, this guy's in column, we've got a cavalry unit charging me, so for the heck of it, I'm going to fire at him, one man. Boy, I didn't think you could charge in the, into the woods. We'll see how that works out. This guy's disordered, which is too bad, but he's 365 men, so he's 150. Yeah, maybe the cavalry will do something to him. We'll see. Okay, here's another mounted guy charging. And he's charging the skirmisher in the woods? Wow, that's amazing. This guy's in column, so I'm not going to even bother to fire. Why is he doing that? Do he really want these woods that bad? Maybe. I would have charged this guy, but maybe he's too big, 375 men. But he doesn't know how big he is. Oh, well. Okay, so we've got three disordered uh, British units in line here. Now we'll give them a blast. First with the artillery. Oh, cannot fire. I hate these, this line battery. Well, we'll do it with uh, 62 men. Oh, wow, that, that was musketry. Now that was very good. This guy's low on ammo. Oh, Christ, how can he be low on ammo? Three men. Uh, a supply unit is right next to him. Okay, let's see what this guy can do. Eleven! Jesus! What kind of... Well, he he is a Morales C, but he's 400-something men. He should have done better than that. Okay, we'll fire at these guys. Eighteen, that's better. Uh... The artillery here cannot fire. I guess they don't fire for... There's two firing phases per turn, so I guess if they move that turn, they can't fire in in either phase. Okay, well, you learn something every day. All right, so we'll fire against this guy. 65, now that was excellent. Plus, he's going to get the battery over here. Another 16. Okay, that was pretty good. Now, these guys hang around next time all this artillery can fire. All right. We'll keep firing at this battery. I'm putting more and more fatigue on him. What happens with that, you get enough fatigue, his firing effectiveness starts going down. And so, that's the only target. Oh, look, a Prussian unit did show up, one cavalry unit. Must have marched his ass off to get here. But he got here. Okay, I don't know. Must have passed through the, the areas just before I got there to cover him. So he's 
on the battlefield. Now he can be dangerous because those Prussian cavalry units are big, so I'm going to have to watch out for him. I'll have to go in a square here on a couple of these units. Okay, but if I keep firing at this artillery unit, this artillery unit is probably going to take other units under fire here. But if I keep hammering him, he's going to be ineffective before long. Because that's my only target here. Unless I start shooting at this cavalry guy if he gets close enough. Okay, now we've got a line unit here. And I've got a disordered line unit, so let's see what he can do. Eight men, well... Another one here. 36, much better. 20, okay, that's good. We've got this artillery unit here. Let's fire on this. Battalion, 10 men, well, that's nothing to brag about. Okay, now I believe it's his turn to fire. Oh, let's see what he does. Seven men. Thirteen. Seven. Uh, Eleven. Well, it's not too bad. I'm next to battalions there. No effect. One man. Five. Thirty-five. Oh, that hurt. Those are those battalions. Six. Oh, that was crappy for battalion. Five for artillery. That's not good. One. No effect. Skirmishers, of course. One. No effect. One, two, four, one, four, no effect, four, one gun, uh, artillery got me, six, fatigue, artillery firing, 27, artillery firing, five, that's what happens when you get close, 12, Artillery firing, 23. One gun. Oh, they keep... I'll have to see who's firing on that battery. Okay, now allied melee. Okay, 39, 53, 56. He got the worst of that. 1 and 1, 23 and 5. 15 and 3. He's getting the worst of those. 4 and 1. Okay. He got one good hit on the artillery I mean on the melee but he took hits for the rest of them so let's see what the damage is well it's French movement but it looks like the time is up yeah one minute and eight or one hour eight minutes so I'm gonna end it here and we'll continue tomorrow with French movement